We're taking into consideration elements of North Dakota's history, trying to incorporate that into the architecture, not just into the exhibits, but also into the architecture. The State Historical Society of North Dakota and its foundation are engaged in a great vision quest for the state of North Dakota. As we study our history, we find that there are milestones that mark important points in the lives of our people and our state. North Dakota is approaching one of those important milestones with its 125th anniversary of statehood in 2014. This is an opportunity to give a gift that celebrates that 125 years. The expansion of the North Dakota Heritage Center is not only an investment for our people and our state, but it could be that gift that celebrates their accomplishments and also prepares us for the next 125 years. The North Dakota Heritage Center belongs to all of us. It is a place of beauty, learning, and history, and it is a place where we and our children can be very proud. Thank you. The next phase of these investments in tourism is the expansion of the exhibit and collection spaces in the North Dakota Heritage Center as the hub of history for the state. This expansion will include additional professional staff and state-of-the-art technology. The North Dakota Heritage Center is not only in the center of the state, but it is also the state of North Dakota all in one center. Our governors believe it is critical that we continue to build resources for heritage tourism in North Dakota and provide our citizens with pride in our world-class accomplishments. Since 2001, $21 million in one-time investments have been secured for the state's history agency, state historic sites, and regional historic attractions. All investments were recommended by the State Historical Society Commission, established by Governor Hoban, as recommended by the former governors. These key investments made with state, federal, and private resources have allowed for services to the 225,000 annual visitors to the Heritage Center and regional historic sites, as well as services to our communities and citizens to continue to grow. In 2005 and 2007, the North Dakota Legislative Assembly invested in planning dollars to develop concepts for the Heritage Center, an expansion projected more than 25 years ago. A hub of history with history professionals and state-of-the-art technology. Here, you can see the proposed project site for the final phase of the expansion efforts. According to the 1992 State Tourism Plan developed by then-Governor George Sinner, the last remaining uncompleted major project of that plan is the expansion of the North Dakota Heritage Center. Studies show that historical museums and cultural heritage sites are attractions that encourage people to stay an extra day or two. Historic attractions anchor tourism, providing a focal point for other interests to build around and to grow. An exciting and must-see expanded North Dakota Heritage Center. We have the opportunity to do great things. The proposed expansion will increase the original building by 97,000 square feet, as well as renovating existing areas, serving the needs of the state's history agency for the next 20 to 25 years. The expanded Heritage Center is an architecturally engaging building that will draw in visitors with an appealing new entrance for the state's largest accredited museum. Also featured will be the new galleries with state history, including the last 70 years of industry innovations, children's galleries and learning labs, high-tech visible exterior signage, access for the challenged, and plenty of parking. Another highlight will be the North Dakota Corridor of History, an impressive gathering space. This interior view looking west shows the Corridor of History, the museum store, First People's Gallery, and high-tech media murals. Here we see a view of the gathering space in the proposed corridor of history and a second view looking northwest toward the Capitol building, creating ample space for national conferences and public events. Front and center throughout the museum will be state-of-the-art technology in displays and exhibits and services, engaging children and curious visitors of all ages. This much-needed expansion will interpret for our grandchildren and visitors from around the world the people and forces that shaped our past here on the Northern Great Plains and offer a glimpse of our future. The First People's Gallery, 
interpreting thousands of years of human occupation in what is now North Dakota based on input from American Indian advisors and the extensive research and collections of the society. North Dakota Inspiration Opportunities and Innovation Gallery focuses on telling the settlement story up to our state's most recent history. Collections will highlight significant contributions North Dakotans have made in science, technology, manufacturing, retailing, and many other professions. This gallery will be designed to inspire the innovators of tomorrow. The Geological Time Gallery expands the display of the rich state collections of fossils and geological exhibits of the North Dakota Geological Survey. Specimens from the state fossil collection include the mastodon, the duckbill dinosaur, and saber-toothed tiger. This space can also tell the climate and geological stories behind North Dakota landscapes and today's oil, gas, and coal industries in our state. The Governor's Gallery expanded space to house temporary world-class exhibits from other museums such as the Smithsonian and to offer large exhibits from the Society's own collections. Also featured will be hands-on interactive learning labs for children and other curious visitors. The 60-seat digital Great Plains Theater, modern technology used to tell the tales of the roaming dinosaurs, early adventurers and pioneers, as well as futuristic visions of North Dakota. Technology and professional staff need to lead the way. The North Dakota Heritage Center and the new Hub of History will function as the state's premier visitor center, making it easy for travelers to choose from a variety of travel and entertainment options. A professional and friendly staff and volunteers using the best of technology, offering computer-generated maps and tours by interest or by region, ticketing and event schedules for statewide programs, business-friendly technology hookups. Another important expanded visitor service will be the Popular Museum Store, a high-quality venue featuring the best of what North Dakota has to offer. And the expanded center will include much-needed food services, the James River Cafe in Badlands Plaza will offer a relaxing stop during a day of exploring our state's largest museum. For special events, a new interior lobby in the outdoor Pembina River Plaza for receptions and other engagements overlooking lawn exhibits. The existing front entrance of the Heritage Center will be transformed into the Missouri River Special Events Center with a catering kitchen. This gathering space will serve our growing needs for conferences, workshops, dinners, weddings and more. Five major outdoor exhibit spaces are planned with gardens, giving visitors space to enjoy everything from picnics to powwows. The museum grounds will provide opportunities to highlight historical and cultural icons of our past and future. The building will also be LEED certified, offering the most up-to-date green energy saving technologies, materials and services. Current collection spaces and staff are challenged by growing needs. Off-site storage is now used extensively, placing priceless collections in harm's way. Professional staff is the backbone of the state's history agency, providing unique skills for the complex task of preserving the history of our state. Historic Preservation Division offices and labs are full to capacity. Both federal and state mandated cultural resource files are housed in this area to meet federal regulations regarding highway construction, pipelines, mines, and other construction projects. This division is the sole repository for the state for archaeological collections. Storage is full to capacity. These collections provide information for some 13,000 years of human occupation. The North Dakota Geological Survey manages the state fossil collection housed in the Heritage Center. Current storage space is also full. Large specimens such as dinosaur bones are stored off-site. This Inspiration Center will be North Dakota's most enduring legacy, ensuring that our state's most glorious days are not yet written in the pages of its history. The Inspiration Center is one of the most innovative concepts ever introduced for North Dakota. Is there a better way to teach our children than through examples created by our most celebrated sons and daughters? We need to do whatever we can to make this dream and vision a reality. This dramatic view from the southeast highlights the amazing architecture of this building, a beacon of light on the state capitol grounds to visitors, travelers, and the community. This diamond will attract the curious and provide them with a never-ending and ever-changing story of life on the plains. 
We want to build something that is a destination for the world, that makes people sit up and say, wow, look at what they built here in North Dakota. This vision should not be viewed as a next step. It is a quantum step into the future, a major undertaking that one and all should enthusiastically endorse to bring into being for the people of North Dakota. What better way to celebrate our 125th anniversary of statehood in 2014 than by opening the doors to an expanded, beautifully enhanced North Dakota Heritage Center, appropriately named by former Governor Arthur Link as the People's Place. This gift to the people of North Dakota on the state capitol grounds will inspire the next generation of visionaries and innovators and set the stage for another 125 years of extraordinary development in North Dakota. At first you'll see it as a distance, at the distance, but um, you'll approach it, walk up to it, walk inside, and we're, this is really a great public space. It's the, it's the heart of the building, both physically and spiritually and will be the lantern in the evening that will advertise the building and uh, create excitement. I think the great part about the Heritage Center is that when I was a kid I could come here with my family and we could go into the jailhouse and have fun there and then in middle school you know we could come and read books up in the lounge and check out the videos and stuff like that and it's close to the Capitol so we can have fun there and then as a as a high schooler and as a college kid, you can come here and really try to learn about the heritage of North Dakota and where we came from. And so it's it's fun for all ages, and it's more than just a you know one age group thing. <laughs>